so this is just a very, very basic how-to video on creating your own colored pencil or marker or anything else you feel like doing, um, swatch sheet, and just, this is the most bare bones basic version of it, there's more advanced ways you can go about it, but this is like the most basic. Now, first thing right off the bat you might ask is, why would you do that? They, they've got like the colors and names on the back. Because, my dears, because you can take them out, you can look at them, but they may not look the same as they do here on your paper. And that's very frustrating when you're trying to get a very exact color and you go to grab it, what you think is it, because you looked at the barrel of the pencil and then suddenly it's not even close to what you were expecting, but you already laid down that color and now you're fucked. So, this is why I personally do them. You might have other reasons, but that's my reason for doing them. And I like to do them for every set of pencils I have and keep them nearby when I'm coloring or doing any type of artwork, so I just have a reference sheet. I just grabbed this because it's a small box, it'll be fairly quick to do, nothing fancy. You can do it with any colored pencils though, or any markers, pens, what have you. There's different pros and cons to doing it. Well, not really any cons, other than just time consuming. But yeah, so first things first, but I will recommend if you're doing it for more than just like a few of these, invest in a binder. This is just like a half inch binder. Um, also get a hole punch and do yourself a favor. Get yourself all nice and uniform in here. And just go boom, boom. And you will be good to go. And you can put it right in your binder as soon as you're done making it. You got it as a reference, that way it'll keep it nice, neat, and tidy and won't get all fucked up. Like, the entire reason I'm doing these right now is because mine got kind of beaten up over time. I was just like, you know, let, let's do fresh ones. And I was like, I could film this. I can make a video out of this. So, basically, here's how I go about it. First off, put the brand at the top so you know what exactly you're looking at. Sorry for my shitty handwriting. Crayola... Well, pack. It's just the basic one. Now, now that that's out of the way, we'll take these suckers out. They don't have to be in any type of order, really. I'll even do them at random. No, I won't. That's gonna make me OCD. So I guess I will start. With <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, just. Typical red-orange. You can you can make squares on your paper. Um, you can do circles. You can just freehand scribble it. You can shade it as a gradient from the lightest color that you can possibly get out of it to really dark and burnished to the other end. I'm just gonna do a basic swatches of what it generally looks like. I might go back and do the more advanced ones or towards the bottom, depending on room. We'll see. But just as a general basic. There. Looks about like that. Simple. And since that was red orange. Ta da! Boom, and I will put that one back in the box so I don't accidentally do it twice. And you're just gonna go right down the line doing these. So this one is just red. And we'll come on over here. Yeah, I know the camera's wiggly. I have it on the gooseneck clamp, so since it's hooked to my little shitty table here, the whole thing wiggles when I'm on it, so. One of these days, I will get my desk 
all cleaned up and usable again, and maybe we'll have better luck there. But it's not much sturdier than this, so it might be just as bad. Anyway, so red. Gonna grab orange next. Do, do, do. Orange down. I'm trying to see through the viewfinder if you can even tell the difference between those three because I know a lot of times on my iPod reds pick up very orangey and I don't know why but that seems to be a thing but it does look like I see three different tones there so I guess we're doing okay. So now we've got our yellow. We'll just come on over here. a little more. It's looking a little chintzy towards the bottom, so. Alright. We get the idea. <laughs> Moment of truth. Should we go for five over here, or should we do another four and then four? Hmm. I don't know. I think I'll just go for it. All right. So this is yellow green. Now on a larger set, your squares would come in very helpful, so you know how much space to allot to each one, and how many you can generally get on the page. But since there's so few here, I'm probably gonna do a line when I finish this set, and then do another small set below it a different day, but we'll see. So alright, next line. This is green. Actually, I just realized this is kind of like my nail polish. But yeah, okay, so down here. And honestly, I have so freaking many different sets of pencils and brands and pens and shit. I have tons of swatch sheets to do, so if you guys would for some reason enjoy watching me do that, I can absolutely film like a series of these if that's something you guys would be interested in. I mean, I suppose there's probably something kind of almost cathartic about it. I have found myself watching other people do swatched videos for hours on end just because I find it soothing, so I mean, if you guys want to watch, I can absolutely make that be a thing. Just let me know in the comments. Okay, next one is sky blue, my friend Carrie's favorite color and one of my favorites. Go right here. Alright, here we've got just regular blue. To me, that looks pretty navy, but they're just saying regular blue, so whatevs. Yeah, I 
guess it is pretty typical standard blue. And then this is a violet purple. Very, very pretty. And very, very similar to that blue. And then we shall grab our brown. I definitely did not space these out evenly, but oh well, just for my own purposes, I honestly don't care that much, so it doesn't bother me, it's fine. Okay. I'll make it work, watch. Black. And then why it's always tricky because I don't really know what to do with this. I never know if I should go get a colored piece of paper and like snip it out, glue it down, and scribble on that. Should I go in black first and then go over it with the white? Should I just do the white because white is white and whatever? Just for the sake of simplicity. La 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 la. We can't see it because it's white paper. <laughs> <laughs> Too friggin' bad. Actually, I can see it a little bit when the light hits it. Can you guys see it? Let me see if I can get it on the viewfinder. Haha, -ha, you can see it right there. Yep, you can see the shiny spot. Yeah, that. <laughs> it looks like nothing, but oh friggity well, it's there. Yes saw that I actually did scribble something down. It wouldn't have left a shiny spot if I hadn't. So, with that in mind, let's get out of a handy dandy binder, and we'll pop it in there. We'll be good to go. Ta-da! And with that, we've got our first page in the new binder. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If not, I apologize. Um, but I had fun making it anyway. I figured since it was something I was going to be up to anyway this evening, I may as well film it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a big thumbs up like. Uh, if you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below, and until next time.